Northanger Abbey, originally titled Susan, is one of Jane Austen's earlier novels, although it was posthumously published in 1818. This novel satirizes the popular Gothic novels of the time, and through its protagonist Catherine Morland, explores the conflict between reality and fantasy, as well as the maturing of a young woman as she navigates society and relationships. Catherine Morland, a naive and impressionable 17-year-old with a love for reading Gothic novels, is invited to go to Bath with wealthy neighbors Mr. and Mrs. Allen. In Bath, Catherine is introduced to a new social world. She forms a friendship with Isabella Thorpe, a young woman fixated on fashion and men, and meets Isabella's brother, John Thorpe, who is arrogant and vain. Catherine is initially flattered by John's attention, but soon realizes she does not return his feelings. Catherine's life becomes more interesting when she meets Henry Tilney, a witty and intelligent clergyman, and his sister, Eleanor. Catherine is immediately attracted to Henry's charm and humor. The Tilneys invite Catherine to visit their family home, Northanger Abbey. Catherine, an avid reader of Gothic novels, imagines the Abbey to be like the spooky settings of her books, with secret chambers and lurking mysteries. In the meantime, Catherine's friendship with Isabella suffers when Isabella becomes engaged to Catherine's brother, James Morland. However, Catherine soon learns that Isabella's affections are disingenuous. Isabella has flirted with Captain Frederick Tilney, Henry and Eleanor's brother, which ultimately leads to the engagement's cancellation due to her inconstancy. John Thorpe's lies complicate matters further by suggesting to General Tilney, Henry and Eleanor's father, that Catherine is an heiress, prompting an invitation to Northanger Abbey, where she indulges her fantasies of a gothic and thrilling atmosphere. Catherine's imagination goes wild, and at one point she suspects General Tilney of having possibly played a role in his wife's death. Henry discovers her suspicions and gently reprimands her, teaching her to distinguish between fiction and reality. Catherine is embarrassed, but learns an important lesson about the dangers of excessive imagination and the value of rationality. Her stay at the Abbey is enjoyable until General Tilney, misinformed by John Thorpe about Catherine's financial situation, abruptly sends her home without explanation or accompaniment. Catherine is crushed, feeling she has lost the Tilney's friendship and especially her budding romance with Henry. After Catherine returns home, Henry comes to visit, revealing that he is in love with her. He explains that General Tilney, misled by Thorpe to believe Catherine was wealthy and later incorrectly told that she was destitute, had acted out of financial motives. Eleanor Tilney soon becomes engaged to a Viscount, improving her family's social standing and softening General Tilney's attitude toward Catherine. Henry proposes to Catherine. With the General's reluctant blessing, given mostly due to Eleanor's good match, they marry. Catherine matures into a young woman who has found love and learned to balance her imaginative tendencies with a more realistic understanding of the world. Northanger Abbey concludes with the young couple entering a marriage based on mutual affection and respect, hinting at a hopeful and happy future together. Throughout the novel, Austen contrasts the real with the imagined and mocks the sensationalism of Gothic novels that capture the imagination of the unsuspecting. The book presents a critical look at the social dynamics of the time, touching on issues of money, marriage, and the position of women in society. The heroine Catherine's evolution from a young girl with a fanciful mind into a perceptive young woman captures the essence of personal growth through experience and mentorship. Austen's signature wit sparkles in Northanger Abbey, supported by her exploration of the sometimes ridiculous aspects of conventional society and the triumph of sensible love over shallow romances and melodramatic adventures.